Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to answer the question, can you drive with a bad flywheel? The flywheel is basically a large weighted wheel that is connected to the crankshaft of the engine. As the crankshaft turns, the flywheel also turns with the crankshaft. The weight of the flywheel provides balance to the crankshaft as the engine pistons go up and down. It also balances the rotation of the crankshaft as there is a slight pause in power output during the various stages of combustion process inside the engine. It does this by gaining momentum as it turns and stores some kinetic energy that is released to keep the piston and the crankshaft and all the rotating parts rotate smoothly. The other function of the flywheel is the surface of the flywheel is also used to engage the clutch plate with turning crankshaft when you take your foot off the clutch pedal and therefore the flywheel is a very crucial component in transmitting engine power to the manual transmission gearbox. This allows power to flow from the engine to the ground transmission and then finally to the wheel. The flywheel is also used by the starter motor to help start the engine. When you turn the ignition key to the start position, the starter motor engages with the flywheel and then turns it. This in turn will turn the crankshaft which can cause compression to build inside the cylinders and then combustion will occur. Now the big question is, can you drive with a bad flywheel? Yeah, sometimes you will get away with driving with a bad flywheel. It really depends on how badly damaged the flywheel is. If you suspect that there is a problem with the clutch when you engage and disengage, if you suspect that there is some power interruption and some vibration, then you should get it checked as soon as possible. In most cases, bad flywheel is eventually going to leave you stranded. Now, problems with the flywheel can cause damage to other engine parts as well. It can cause damage to the clutch, it can lead to crankshaft failure, and even it can lead to catastrophic engine damage. This is basically because one of the role of the flywheel is to give some balance to the crankshaft as it is rotating. If there is no longer balance, if the flywheel is no longer doing this effectively, then the engine will vibrate more. You will be able to feel the vibration and the shake as well. Rav engine is going to underperform and that may cut when idling. A damaged flywheel can also make an engine more difficult to start. Well, the flywheel is made from a really tough material, but sometimes they can crack, they can warp, or even lose some of their teeth. If the outer teeth becomes damaged and the starter motor may get jammed, and it may not be able to crank the engine as you try to start your vehicle. So these are some of the issues associated with the bad flywheel. Well, this is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.